Imagine a deck where discarding becomes a power play. Scorn gains strength each time she's discarded, Agent Venom boosts our deck's power, and Ravona Renslayer creates a twist. This high-risk, high-reward strategy is full of unexpected synergies. Let's dive in and see how it all comes together. We'll start with Scorn, who buffs herself by 2 and a card on the board by 2 when she's discarded. And we discard her with Colleen Wing, Blade, and Swordmaster, who we will circle back around to later. We can get one more discard, of course, with Dracula, and more discards with Wong. Mystique can be used to double up your Wong, and she also can double up Morbius, who gains power every time you discard a card. Agent Venom is here to provide somewhat of a alternative backup plan, or sometimes even complementary plan, by buffing Iron Man and your other cards in your deck. If you end up not playing Agent Venom, you have Ravona Renslayer, who discounts a number of the cards in your deck. And here he is, folks, Shang-Chi, who is in 99% of my decks. Circling back around to Swordmaster, this deck has odd-costed cards other than Scorn, namely Mystique, namely Iron Man. Or if you have Ravona down, that actually changes your Dracula to be three cost. But also, if you have your Ravona down, now Iron Man is even cost and Mystique is even cost. But now your Morbius is odd cost because he goes down to one. So Swordmaster is a little tricky sometimes to play. Sometimes you don't care. But that is why I have these deck guide videos to show you how to pilot this deck in certain situations. This deck probably is somewhat harder to pilot, but Hopefully this video helps walk you through that. Okay, first up is Burb. The Abbey. There is Mystique. We are going up against an eight card deck. Amartage is Knight. We drew into Scorn. Opponent snapped. Hmm. Do I want my Iron Man potentially... I think I will. I'll stay through this as well. I'm hoping to get the card draw in Abbey. Domino. I mean, they can't get Wiccan. Ugh. Okay, we got the Abbey bonus. There is Dracula. Mm, do I snap back? <laughs> Wong, Mystique. Ay, ay, ay. What deck is this? Domino? Domino? Snap. <sighs> I will get Ravona down now. I... Uh, what kind of brew is this? get Wong Wong or do I get Dracula first let's go Dracula and then next turn I can do Wong let's see is this a do they have gambit that's what would wipe me out of course so get Wong down and then it is Mystique into Colleen into Blade. What collection level are they? They are playing a unique deck. I have priority. There is the Iron Man a tad late. So I think I just do Mystique. Hmm, my Dracula may not gain a lot of power. We'll roll the die on that, and we'll just buff up Scorn a ton. And see see what deck my opponent is running. They don't have Wong down middle, so they stayed away from the Dracula lane, which is why I played left. Okay, what got... Where did all my buffs go? 
<laughs> Where in the world did all my buffs go? What is this left? Like and subscribe. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take the opening eight cubes. Uh, my opponent was running a really funky deck. I don't know what I'm going to describe that deck as. And the the points did not spread out or I would like them to. But we we just barely escaped. Sometimes with Dracula, people will avoid that lane because they'll assume it's going to have a Dracula is going to get a large card. Dracula did not. Dracula got a four power card, but that doesn't matter because people stay away from it. I think if they would have flipped these two, they would have won. So it was kind of close, but I will, I will take the eight cues, my funky deck versus their funky deck. Okay, we are going up against Random Goblin. We have the Kamar Taj. Next turn, I think I get down Ravona because I can always play Morbius later and playing Morbius middle is almost always fantastic because you have cards that they in all likelihood aren't going to be able Breaking to use your cards they are bounce do I get the Dracula down first let's get the Dracula down well I don't even have scorn in my hand so that is a problem. The more meta version of this deck is... Oh, they... Yeah. <laughs> they fudge that order. The more meta version of this deck has Gambit in it. And that would have just cleaned up. They wanted to probably bounce the Human Torch. Or, yeah, they, they're going to now with the Dagger. Okay, so that's going to be their last, or this turn's play, probably. I still do not... <laughs> they got scared of the Wong and Kamratage. So that's another benefit this deck has as well, is it looks scarier than it probably actually is, as I'm assaulting my own deck, because... With a Wong on board, if you don't have tech against a Wong, uh, you might be in trouble as an opponent. And so they probably are thinking that we are a Gambit deck when they see Dracula, they see Wong, and they just aren't prepped for that because they're going to have priority. And uh, we did not draw what I needed to, <laughs> but take these wins. I am going up against, you know, higher ranked infinite players that are skilled and can recognize decks so you i can use that to my advantage if you are at a lower level than i am then players may not retreat based on just what your deck looks like so these types of games you might have to retreat in but if you're going up against decent players they will probably retreat because they see a wong in the camaraderie and that's just good night Okay, next up we have E Millionaire. I do have Scorn. Uh, the one thing I forgot to mention in the opener was this is probably more of a fun deck. I favor playing in the unrevealed locations. Seven cards on turn two, they have a normal deck. This is probably more of a fun deck. The, the snap and retreat lines are very clear because it all centers around Scorn. Mostly. You can get some wins with the Iron Man Mystique combo. And now I'm going to run out of space, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, so now all of my cards are two power. That's alright. Ravona, I can get down the Iron Man... Uh, 
This is a little awkward because there's also Shang-Chi, but honestly, this right now, I'm still not quite clear on what deck my opponent is playing with Cassandra Nova and Jeff. Oh, that's nice of you. Ah, okay. And now I do not have my Wong. Do I Shang-Chi now? How am I playing this? Mystique copies the Ravona. So that would mean my Iron Man's three. I think I do Colleen and Blade. Sarah, oh, this is a Sarah Tech deck. Okay. So we have to expect the Enchantress middle. They might have Shadow King. I think it would be Enchantress middle, which would mean if I play Shang-Chi here and Scorn here, that's, that's not a great play. Hmm, there's no real good play here. Yeah, so I've identified my opponent's deck. We unfortunately, even with the help of Maximus, couldn't draw into an accelerator, which is what we needed this game. We kind of needed Wong, and Wong wanted to be in the bottom of my deck. <laughs> that Those are the breaks. And I, I might be able to try to sneak out a win, right? And it's this and this over here. But I'm only winning by one. I'm only winning by one right. And I'd probably win middle. But it would just be a very close game. They do have priority. So there, there is a slight benefit there. But also just how we were positioned, it would have been too close, too slim. So in those cases, just retreat for one. Okay, next up is John John the Wise. Danger room on the left, eight card deck on turn one. They are not Thanos. They are not... Ugh. Agatha or Arishem. Everybody loves Central Park. <laughs> I think we're going to lead into the... Iron Man and Mystique this game if I draw into them. This is clearly... Destroy... What the... 2000 collection level, okay. That makes more sense. Let's see if they can take me out. Get down Morbius and... I guess just Ravona here. I don't really need her at this point. And I'm not going to draw into Scorn in all likelihood, so we will just kind of see. There is Colleen. Do I hold? I think I hold one more turn. What you can do with Swordmaster and Blade in hand is you play Swordmaster first and then Blade because Swordmaster, oh, that is bold. Into Danger Room, Venom goes. Okay. We know what our last turn play is going to be. That is going to be a Shang-Chi. Get Dracula down here. Do I snap now? I have Sean, and then potentially Colleen Wing, oh, snap. or Blade. Victory. <laughs> so we kind of scared off the lower collection level player. I, I was decently positioned, especially into the matchup. Quite frankly. Uh, with Shang-Chi being able to take out the Venom. Even if Shang-Chi dies, I keep that power there. 
and then I get an additional discard middle. So they have to play a card middle. And then Dracula gets another discard. So they really have to play another card middle. And then Dracula gets the power. I play the discard card over right. So Colleen or Blade, depending on what I draw into. And then of course Shang-Chi is left. And it's we were just positioned well enough to, to pull this out without drawing into scorn, which is what this deck is about. Okay, we have Rose X Snap. This is a eight card deck, rank 4,000. Get those discounts. I mean, instead of cloning Vats, I think I just play Ravona middle. I have both Iron Man and Mystique. Or do I save space? What's my turn three play? My turn three play can actually be Swordmaster. If I had Scorn in hand, that'd be fantastic. And I kind of need to draw into... Oh, well, actually, I forgot she debuffs them twice. Uh, I still want middle open. I think I do Iron Man now. Uh, how about we get more Iron Men? Uh, how about we get one power Iron Man? <laughs> when I play Mystique. I am Iron Man. So I I'm am. even though I have all of these Do you think they're running Do you think they're running Enchantress? Oh, Who the heck knows? Let's go Mystique into Agent Venom. Agent Venom, is that okay? I think that's okay. And then definitely Mystique again middle. <laughs> and I think this just might be a priority game because my thought is with the Zabu and the Badam web, they're of course running four cost cards. Is this the greedy big power four cost card deck? Or is this, this is the big power one. So it would be fantastic if I actually draw into Shang-Chi. And I don't know if I will do that. Do I get another Mystique down? Mystique and Dracula. And then I can play... Ay, ay, ay. I am. Okay. Man. Did I take priority? Oh, I took priority. Let's go. Do I go Morbius Metal? All of these Iron Men everywhere. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Agent Venom Middle and Colleen Middle and get rid of the Morbius in hand? And then the sword... Sure. What do you got for me? This should be fine, right? Because we've just targeted the... Hello! So happy! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> we flipped it. What a fantastic, interesting win. I think this will be my last one. I like to get out of here on on pretty cool looking wins. And this was a pretty cool looking win. Yeah, we got assisted with cloning vats and Sinister London, of course. Take that good luck. And the fact that we were able to have so many Iron Men with the Mystique, we didn't draw into Scorn. You saw how I was able to, with my discard cards, have Dracula target the highest power, which was seven from Swordmaster in my hand. So that is why I say this deck might be a little harder to pilot. You really kind of have to assess that. And I should have run the math, but listen, with all these Iron Men, just, just play. <laughs> no math required. Thanks for reaching the end of the video or somewhat of the end. And thanks to all the members of my channel. I appreciate all of you. With this deck, you kind of see how it works. It's definitely an off meta deck. It's definitely Probably not the most powerful scorn deck, but when I play some of these off meta decks, I like having clear snap and retreat lines. 
And this really comes down to do you have scorn? Do you not? Or can you pull out a win with maybe a Shang-Chi and a Mystique last turn? Because Ravona discounted that and you had Iron Man the previous turn. So you actually get another Iron Man last turn and then Shang-Chi. So there's a lot of different options with this deck. And you really have to be good at spotting that, learning how the deck operates. So take it in the conquest where you can just mess around with it and seeing your actual winning lines, what those look like. If you decide to try out the deck, let me know how it goes for you. Until next time.